listen, we've been on this. I I did think that they were maybe a little further apart if Poles was playing a different game than Jalen wanted. When because J- I was I didn't know how hard Jalen was going to hold out for highest paid corner in the game off his all pro season in a year where he demanded a trade and it didn't exactly go how he wanted. And in the end, he doesn't really approach being the highest paid corner in the game. Denzel Ward got over 71 million guaranteed, but this is the fifth most money ever guaranteed to a cornerback behind Denzel Ward, Marlon Humphrey, Marshawn Lattimore, and Tredavious White. Tredavious White just cut by the Bills, so it's more than Trevon Diggs, more than Xavier Howard, more than Jalen Ramsey. Mm -hmm. And as a 24-year-old player who was not a first-round pick, the Bears did not have the fifth-year option on him, so he gets to hit free agency again at 28 years old. Xavier Howard, at 28 years old, signed a five-year, $90 million contract with 36 guaranteed. So he can legitimately look at his agent and his family and say that there is assuming health and that he plays well, that there's another massive payday coming for him, you know, with two seasons before he's in his 30s. So in terms of total guarantee, it's fifth. In terms of average annual value at 19 mil on the dot, it's eighth. So... It is not a uh, in terms of like setting the market and 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 elevating, but I could see I could see him understanding and agreeing that he's not quite that. It's first year of ball production, first year of real turnover production, as they have said, and he dropped a couple. Um, and you know, so so I could see that. I bet I bet the guarantee got higher that he got that guarantee higher because if if you look. At some of the four-year deals that some of these big corners got, Tredavious White is at 55 mil guaranteed. Derek Stingley was at 34 guaranteed. Jeffrey Okuda at 33. Amon Gardner at 33. Devon Witherspoon at 31. So getting it to 50, was it 55 guaranteed? 54, 6, and there's a 54, 4, and there's a really interesting nugget here from Fish Bay okay. that but, explains it. So, but 54.6 guaranteed 54.4. Is, is pretty pretty damn good for a four year contract. And Fishbane has this, and it's a really good it's a really good note. So a four-year, $76 million contract with $54.4 million guaranteed for Johnson, mm-hmm. that 71.6% guarantee, yeah, 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 number one among corners. There you go. So it's the highest percentage, percentage of a contract guaranteed. So he didn't have to go five years like Denzel Ward. He, his other guys have gotten more guaranteed. But he basically takes on the least amount of risk for this contract that he signed and Jeremy, and Jeremy Fowler has that he's getting 28 million over the first year of the deal. So a guy who's made <laughs> so a guy who's made 8 million dollars in salary in his 4 years of his career over the next 12 months oh is going to get 28 million dollars. Right, right, it's right. a great contract. It's a great it's contract. It's a great contract. It's a, it's an unbelievable coronation for the business aspirations, for the 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 success dreams for his entire family, you know, I mean, this is this is a guy whose dad was a defensive back, whose brother is a defensive back. This is the family business, and he's dreamt his whole life to be an NFL cornerback. And of course, you dream as a family that you achieve this kind of financial success. It's remarkable, and I'm thankful we've gotten to know him as we have because I genuinely. Have a ton of happiness for that dude right now. Absolutely. He's a pro. He's accountable. He studies the game. He works on his craft. He's hard on himself. He's an incredibly loving (laughs) father. I mean, this is a guy who, you know, the first second he is an off day, he will fly out to California or fly her in, and they're doing all of these things. And uh, also just like as a pull back the curtain thing, we have dealt with a lot of athletes for these weekly appearances that are – not as professional, do not prioritize it, do not care. Jalen is like, doesn't matter if they play a Monday game and a you know a Sunday game and then a Thursday game, so it's two in a week. Around he, and available. He's not in a car, he's not on a massage table. He like gets to the house, he gets on the zoo. That's a shot at Nico who made he, his Super Bowl pick from a massage table. No, that's just a Super Bowl pick. No, that's know, a shot at Eddie Jackson, who did his weekly interview with <laughs> Mac and I every week uh, from a massage table. If you want me to be honest with the shot I do. is that. I really do. Uh, but I mean, like on a Zoom, on Wi-Fi, super uh, communicates with Shane. Oh, yeah. As 
not as soon as the game ends, but pretty damn quick. He will confirm. Usually before the game's over, he calls me. He's a big third quarter texter. <laughs> from the phone on the sideline. Uh, How about that about this? Never shrank from a single question of uh, like dealing yeah. in terms of contract status, potential holdout, like everything and anything. Uh, 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 you know, um, the, the relationships with the coaches, relationship with polls. Here comes the trade deadline. Happy, unhappy. Justin, his answer on Justin and how that would feel if the quarterback got changed. All of it, just unbelievable. So yeah, really easy to feel good um, for that guy from our perspective. 